properly package this thing? Uh, you push it down lightly, and then you get it going. Bing bong, oh. bing bong. What are you, chai fucking knees? Chai knees. Are you chai fucking knees? Dirty knees. Look at these. Bing bong. Are you chai fucking knees? Are you chai fucking knees? That'd be a cool. Uh, Simu Lu, chai fucking knees. You ever eat chink food and a half hour later you're still racist? Feel the cat scrambling around my stomach. Is that in the microphone? Do we clap now? Oh, Simulu is, is that what chai it's like? fucking knees. That's what it's like being Catholic. Clapping? Well, just like point mics out of these. Point our penises in there. That's why I believe they originally brought out the McRib, was so Catholics <laughs> could eat it, and uh, Muslims and Jews couldn't. Yep. Or no, just Muslims. Can Jews no, eat pork? No, no, Jews can't. Jews cannot eat pork. Jews, well, we're not supposed to, but... Like, so it's a way that Catholics ooh. could stunt on everybody else. Yeah. This is the first McRib I've, ever, I've never eaten. Or, oh. Oh, you hit the. That's the channel. There we go. Half, are. half speed here. Yeah. Yeah. Here we are. I've never eaten a McRib. This is the first one. This is your first McRib. I've never My fifth in the last <laughs> three days. <laughs> <laughs> it's only been out for two days. <laughs> Damn, this is. Uh, ooh, smells really good. Oh yeah. There you go. Pressed meat. Live McRib reaction. That is so good. Pork shoulder. You've got dextrose. Uh, you've got preservatives. Microplastics? Oh, yeah, microplastics. Let's go. Pickle, mm. onion. It's They're a, pretty good. It's I'm a gonna... great sauce delivery mechanism. Yeah, as far as like uh, bread with sauce, this is some of the best I've had. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> I feel like the meat on its own would be pretty foul. Yeah, don't focus on the meat. Well, uh, McDonald's is the epitome of like the sum of its parts. Yeah. Any individual ingredient at McDonald's is like horrific. Right. Be like put a, together and it's best. I swear to God, it's like the pickles or the onions come as like powder. And it might be like, the onions. They are like... The onions are weird. Uniquely unflavorful for an onion. I think it, there's some sort of veggie at McDonald's that comes as a powder and then they like whisk it with water or something and then it forms an onion. Or a yeah. Ugh. Yeah. But I don't think about it though. Yeah, you I just don't think about eat it. the McRib. I just eat it and then yeah. I go, hmm, tasty. And then I go, why does my back hurt all the time? <laughs> <laughs> why am I aging three years every year? How do I keep getting, I keep waking up with new gray hairs? Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> my back and knees are sore and I'm I'm young and I sh- I'm <laughs> relatively healthy. What's going on? What's ba- up with that? I'm in perfect shape. <laughs> I'm flawless. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's going on? I'm perfect. All I do is smoke cigarettes, <laughs> <laughs> sit in a gaming chair. <laughs> Treat your body yeah. like a temple. So that's been that's been me this last year. It's like, damn, I eat fast food every day and sit in a gaming chair all day and smoke cigarettes indoors, and yet I'm gaining weight. What the fuck is We're happening? I'm getting strange. fat. You're not getting any sunburns. And I'm sweating like crazy just sitting here in my <laughs> podcasting robe, sitting on a little orb. <laughs> yeah. I do. I, I've reached the perfect. I find this is the body I have now is like perfect. Um, it, my weight hasn't changed in like a year. Yeah, because it's exactly where my body sits, given like how much I move in a day and how little I give a fuck about my what I eat. Yeah, yeah. it's like the, this is what true homeostasis is. I used to be like that, but now I, I weigh the same as Donald Trump, but I'm uh, <laughs> six inches shorter than him. <laughs> <laughs> You're built like gay little Ron. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did he step out of the politics thing? He's done. Yeah, he took a little step out. He did yeah. a small, tiny little legs. One yeah. small step for Ron. <laughs> one, <laughs> one giant <laughs> leap for adult men. Yeah, oh. he's done, skis. It's over. But yeah, we're back in our enduring effort to bring you um, exciting new guests to broaden your horizons. <laughs> yeah. We have star of stage and screen, Nick McQuick. Nick McQuick, first time on the show. <laughs> first time on the show, guys. <laughs> Welcome. It's a pleasure to be here. Your new studio, so much closer to my house. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah. The, well, we are, this is your basement. Yeah, yeah. it's <laughs> nice to come down to the bunker. <laughs> <laughs> the reason Nick is on so frequently is because he is both of our biological fathers and he just lives yeah. upstairs. Slash land. Lord. Yeah, he <laughs> insists on making the distinction. <laughs> slash it's, it's for tax purposes. <laughs> when I'm not busy cleaning guns. <laughs> oh, this is my yeah. dad slash landlord. 
<laughs> That's a cool distinction. Yeah. This is my this is my tenant. He's also my son. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen that subreddit Love for Land Chads? No. It's, it's like a, a subreddit chad. dedicated to like how cool la- being a landlord is. <laughs> they got a lot of hate these days. Yeah. yeah. Well, have for, you seen? For weird. I don't know why. Why would, why would anyone dislike their landlord? <laughs> yeah, it's anti-Semitic to not like your <laughs> landlord most of the time. I, well, did you see that landlord that wanted that uh, put out a notice saying it's like kind of rude that people don't tip him? Tip? Yeah. yeah tip your landlord. You, you, I guess you own a house. So you don't know. You're supposed to tip your landlord. I, yeah, that's not what I've ever done. <laughs> you, you're a landlord, technically, right? Yeah, technically. Yeah. Do, do, do you, you get, get tips? tips? No. Okay, you should be talking to the guy. I get them. no yeah. social interaction with them. It's great. They don't talk to me. They don't even look at me. You they should just ask for hand tips, me money. Hmm. I would ask for tips. Yeah, but I ask for money. I get to <laughs> ask for more money if I wanted money. But they're only just make sure they know that like the only reason they're not homeless is because of you. I, yeah, no, nope. and that I think warrants a tip. <laughs> I, uh, no, I'm good. I'll just take the money you and be, no conversation. You could be getting <laughs> groped on the street. <laughs> <laughs> I think you owe me fifteen percent rent. Yeah, if it tip. wasn't for me. Yeah, you'd be getting <laughs> groped on the street, you <laughs> fucking idiot. You stupid idiot. You could, I'm raising your rent. You'd be showering at the YMCA, you fat <laughs> retard. You I know. think it'd be weird if it's like you had to pay your landlord, and he's like, okay, I don't want a hug. I would. And a little kiss on the, kiss if my on landlord, the cheek. If my landlord was Grimes, I would do that. <laughs> <laughs> your landlord was Gary Busey. <laughs> I want a kiss. Yeah. Ab- I want a kiss. <laughs> Give me a kiss and a hug. Hey, Absentee landlords over. are the best. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If Gary Busey was my landlord, I'd hope to God he'd like, chill every day. Oh, yeah? Like, a, Gary Busey landlord would be nice to, like, you wake up and there's a knock at the door and he's like, hey, man, I brought over a PS2. I thought we'd play Siphon Filter. <laughs> <laughs> like, All right. <laughs> Gary Busey has the perfect defense against, like, AI and, like, deep fakes. Because, mm-hmm. like, the shit that he says already sounds like that. Yeah, you would just, like, try to replicate that. Yeah. Every McRib I have, it just gets better. <laughs> <laughs> you How long are they going to be around for uh, they haven't been around for 10 years. But how long till they cancel them? Oh, they're going to be around until at least uh, March, which is great, because that's when the Shamrock Shake comes around. I don't know if you guys... The Shamrock know. is crazy. Yeah, the Shamrock yeah. Shake, where it's like, here's a mint. That's what the Irish love. Mint. Yeah. Well, I think, yeah, it's green. It's green. Yeah. <laughs> so, but it'll be the first time in a long time that you've been able to get a McRib and a Shamrock Shake. Oh, this is like, so there is like sort of an it's astrology. The, yeah, it's the eclipse. The McDonald's menu. Yeah, yeah. actually, Saturn's rising. So. <laughs> so the McRib is in retrograde as the Shamrock is eclipsing rising. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Shamrock rising. <laughs> <laughs> is that what the uh, the Irish national anthem is called? Shamrock rising? No, it's called Kamochi Black and Tans. Hello. Is that what it actually is? No, no. <laughs> what is that's the, the IRA fight song. What is the Irish national anthem? I feel like it's just a bar song. Um, like I, I feel like they like at Irish events, if someone were to come out and be like "boo," they'd be like, oh, "He's doing it wrong." Well, you've heard the yeah. night that Patty Murphy died, right? <laughs> I, I have heard that. I think it's similar to that. I just—is it Danny Boy? <laughs> <laughs> the pipes, <laughs> the pipes are calling. <laughs> Danny Boy. <laughs> I've heard there's a thing they do in Ireland at the pubs where if you go in and like a group of guys recognize you, they'll go like, like Nick, Nick, he's our mate. Um, when he gets a pint, he downs it in eight, seven, six, and then like as they're chanting, you have to like chug whatever drink you just got. Dude, that's the national anthem. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Ireland, <laughs> Ireland, it's our country. <laughs> yeah. eight, seven, it, six. I think that'd be cool. I, I, I like that as a culture, like walking in if all, anyone knows you, being like. You have to get drunk right now. Mm-hmm. We recognize you, so you need to get drunk. I watched some of the like uh, football games or footy, as they call it, over there after the Queen died, and they were doing a chant in the crowd, going "Lizzie's in a box, <laughs> she's in a box." I was like, Jesus everyone was Christ. so sad that they died, and I'm like, no, not the Irish, not the Scottish. No, <laughs> they really don't. What like are you them. talking about? They're best friends. Today. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's why friends. they've been married for so long. <laughs> I like that. It's totally by choice. Yeah. They just know that the British are like better at managing things. <laughs> <laughs> it's better for everyone if they're in charge. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is very well look at what Ireland's done with themselves without yeah. the British. I mean look what happened to India. Yeah. <laughs> India hasn't been invaded they nine times. They used to be times. doing great. I don't know. When I saw Triple R, I totally changed my opinion. I was like, the British are bad guys? <laughs> what, what the hell? Triple R is the most 
It's the most I've ever like openly fallen for propaganda. I think. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I was like, oh wow, I hate British people. <laughs> yeah. I hate them so much. <laughs> Just watching that movie, I was like, Indian people probably smell really nice. Yeah, I was like, wow, <laughs> they're all jacked and handsome, and and they get pussy, and they're cool. I, I recommended that movie to my mom. Yeah. And she stopped watching it because she felt it was slanderous to the British. <laughs> That's such a Canadian mom thing. <laughs> what the yeah. hell? There's there's like a demographic of Canadians that are like still like British loyalists. Yeah. Why? I don't know, but I like my girlfriend's grandma is the same way. Loves the Queen. Yeah. Loves oh, yeah. the royal family. Yeah. Like it's like the the royal family in Canada is a lot like the military in the states. Like anyone who's there's like a whole demo of people. Your queen. Yeah, there's people who like aren't affiliated with it, but are just like yes, sir. I think there's a, a certain demographic of mainly Canadian women, mm-hmm. like of a certain age at this point, um, who just fucking loved the queen. Yeah. Why? I, I think it was just she was the Taylor Swift of her day. Oh, it was like yeah. Because people don't Girl remember now, powers. but in 1960, she was the most beautiful woman in the world. Ew. <laughs> Really, I thought Cleopatra was still around. <laughs> she was gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, she was just the most dime piece. She was the hottest babe anyone had ever seen. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. God, yeah. man, a McRib and a cigarette. This is like McRib and like, cigarette. Yeah, yeah. nothing gotta, like oh. multiple cigarettes going in a small <laughs> room with no ventilation. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm, I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but I'm sweating like a hog in here. <laughs> Well, you are wearing a sauna robe. <laughs> it's my podcasting robe. Yeah, but he wears this every episode. <laughs> Perfect. The pod robe. <laughs> yeah. This is a nice experience, having a McRib within a, with all my boys packed in nice and tight. Real and then tight. A cigarette. In the meat locker. In the yeah. <laughs> with mild radiation on our backs. <laughs> <laughs> Very mild norms. Naturally occurring radioactive material. <laughs> you guys didn't take a no. zinc pill before this? <laughs> that helped inhibit your like, radiation absorption. Oh yeah, we always pop a couple iodines before. <laughs> 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 yeah. We're, uh, yeah, we, we like to record at optimal settings. We're taking iodines. We're at sea level. <laughs> We're, uh, listen, we're, we're talking at double speed. Yeah. yeah. Let's take it down and edit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We slow it down. We'll fix it in post. Yeah. Oh. Man, this is a crazy... It's just sit, let the McRib just fucking sit like a rock in my stomach. How's the aftertaste hit you? Really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're the honestly... Sauce. They're, they're quite nice. It tastes really good. Yeah. yeah. I... That's... How, what, how, what's the price difference on a McRib versus like a... Like, like a, six bucks. Really? Yeah, and it's like ten for the combo. Damn. I think it's actually cheaper. Hold than, uh, on, than I kept the receipts. <laughs> receipt. Don't touch that. There's microestrogens on receipt paper. <laughs> I'm dying. Nick, don't touch that. Put it down. Oh no. Nick, you're stressing me out. Dude. Oh, I, it's about the same as a Big Mac. Nick, you got to put that receipt paper down, dude. You stress me out. <laughs> <laughs> you're stacking microestrogens right now. That's. I did watch a. Um, it's it is getting really hard to tell what's a schizophrenic guy online anymore because they all have like podcasting studios now. <laughs> Wait, oh, are you yeah. saying this ironically <laughs> to the camera? Or? Oh, <laughs> Straight yeah. up, like they all like every every guy. Like I watched a guy talk about how bad receipt paper is in a studio that looked like nice. Yeah, and I was like, okay, is he is this? Is this a, like, not crazy guy? Because, like, half the guys I watch who give medical advice are just in their backyard, mm-hmm. like, outside, being like, and then it's, you, all you hear is, like, traffic, and they're like, basically, receipt paper is what's going to make you a girl and make you yeah. think about fucking your dad. <laughs> you know, all right. Well. I, I have heard that about receipt I've paper. I've seen the, the homeless wizard tell people to drink urine yeah. and live forever. Well, so. he's yeah. he's spitting facts. Yeah. 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 The yeah. one thing, like, I don't know shit about any of this, yeah. but you hear so much about, like, oh, seed oil this, yeah. and receipt paper that, and, like, oh, the food's all toxic and shit. Yeah. But, like, people used to live to be, like, 50. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And now, yeah. We, now we have, like, an issue because everyone's living to be, like, <laughs> Nobody's 90. Nobody's dying, yeah. Because the boomers aren't dying fast enough. Yeah, yeah, so it's, like, how toxic can our shit really be? Yeah, well... And y- also, like, how long are you supposed to live, you know? I like, think what it, I think what happened was, like, it, nothing... It, it, everything in the world is just as bad for you. I think it just switched. Like, the boomers ate, like, better food probably but like all their houses were built with like asbestos and like yeah, it was there, just was, a yeah. there was like different poison but they still were like getting poison i feel like our shit and they like the, they're like constant like uh exposure to like radiation and like uranium yeah. glass and stuff it's like they had their own yeah. poisons but like now i think we've cut out all the like very abundant all the poisons we know about but then we're replacing it with cool cool vape juice that i drink i we still have communism 
Right. Terrible poison. That's, That's what'll mine. get you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> mind poison. Mind poison. <laughs> you got to vaccinate by having high tea. Yeah. So that you don't become a communist. Not to, never like, touching receipt paper. I. I mean, only I, using I, butter. I grew up in the Yukon eating meat, yeah. like just wild meat out in the woods. Yeah. And like I still hunt and buy a cow. Like I always yeah. prefer that stuff over the stuff you get in the store. Did the computer just turn off? Might have. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. We're going to do a second take. <laughs> Get out. How do you want? Lean back. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, don't worry about it. Everything's okay. Okay. Weird. And we're back. <laughs> we're actually, we never left. Yeah, we never left. We never left. We're going to leave all that in, just a, a minute of silence of us being like, oh, let's... Make sure that cord, everything is on that cord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> everything is... It's what we call the mother cable. Oh. Yeah. I got that. You know what I'm saying there. That's I've, the mother I cable. I feel like the most poisonous thing I put in my body is probably Diet Coke. That's, that's pure good. Yeah. yeah. Cool. yeah. It's diet. Yeah. Well, th- yeah, they should, like we said famously, they should just call it healthy Coke. Yeah. It's not even diet Coke. It's, it's just the right good, choice. It's good for you, Coke. Yeah, it's a bonus. <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah. it's and vaccine. And it, ca- it counteracts the microestrogens. Diet Coke. Oh, co- oh yeah. yeah. Well, diet Coke is like having every time you have a diet Coke, it's like a nice, like, booster vaccine. Mm-hmm. Speaking of, you guys hear about di- disease X? Yeah. That the Chinese are building? Yeah. Hel- that the Chinese are helpfully working on? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was, somebody said, well, we're working on the vaccine for the next thing. And it's like, it's the next thing. Yeah, How I keep. You work on some before it's out. I keep seeing the disease X, which, and they're they like, it's tw- it's going to be 200 times more deadly than COVID. And like, uh, they were they were talking about it like it's so the it'll new. kill five people? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going to kill 60 year olds. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I suppose it's like COVID, but 100 percent fatality in mice. <laughs> yeah. It's like China. What are you doing? Stop. <laughs> Why? I mean, but we've I said have... it before, but billions must die. Yep. Well, that seems to be the Chinese <laughs> motto. Like, but I, I've been following so many like QAnon accounts on Twitter. Yeah. That now like 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 Twitter will send me like um, like updates that show up on like the home screen of my phone. But it's all shit like Merrick Garland has been captured by the White Hats, <laughs> <laughs> and, like, and the like disease like disease X shipment intercepted. It's Port of San Diego. <laughs> I like how you're getting alternate reality news. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's just wild getting it on like like your notification getting screen a, of your phone. Yeah, getting a ping, and I'll just look at it. It'll be like Taylor Swift confirmed man. <laughs> <laughs> That's how like when I get YouTube notifications now, it's just like. It's like hot wiring. Like, uh, I, like I'll just check my phone, and it's like new comment. You guys are gay, and I'm like, nice. Oh. All right, <laughs> you keep driving. <laughs> no, you actually. <laughs> actually, actually, you're, you're gay. gay. <laughs> it's an original set. Damn, <laughs> damn. I, we really switched yeah. roles here. I'm chief in a sig with Fry. I'm <laughs> reclined. <laughs> I'm chilling. It's hard not to recline in that chair. I. This is the comfy man. Yeah. I understand why you keep this chair. This is chill. this lifestyle is nice. You guys yeah. have done over a hundred episodes. You never swap chairs. No. No. <laughs> wow. T- you guys that's are so autistic. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, actually, I'm very stressed right that's now. That's my chair. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> when people come over, that's the chair that I sit in. Actually, <laughs> my cat recognizes. That, Fry thinks I'm you right now. Yeah. Fry's also autistic. You got your hue <laughs> camouflage on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I did like yeah. the hitman thing. I put on a Beavis and Butthead shirt. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> um, so the Chrome Fry. Boys is where I always come to for my uh, cutting edge uh, cinephile news. Yes. Because mm. uh, you guys, big movie guys. Yes. Uh, yeah. Hugh, Experts. Hugh, uh, you got to see a bit of Aquaman too with me. I did. What's your takeaway? Dog <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's stung. Is Aquaman too bad? What do you think? <laughs> the <laughs> the opening of that movie is Aquaman like on a sub and it's blowing up and he like turns to the camera he's like bet you're wondering how I got into this mess he oh, actually really? does that and then it's like a montage thing of like well I met this girl and we had a kid and this and it's like what the fuck man try he actually did they that's a- how the movie starts I thought when you told me that at the strip that was like a joke no that's how it the movie actually starts, starts with like on oh, no, like because I mean I saw the last like 40, 45 minutes. And it really, it looks like, 
<laughs> Xbox 360. That's yeah. crazy. Like cutscenes. Wow. With Jason Momoa's head like <laughs> floating around on a cartoon body. God damn. Yeah, there yeah. were so many scenes where I was just watching it, and I'm, I'm like, I'm, there's not even a set. I'm just watching a computer animation. Yeah. yeah. I think the problem with a movie like that, like, because Guardians of the Galaxy did the whole, like, yeah, it's a stupid it's a stupid character. Honestly, I think Guardians of the Galaxy is the reason why we have so many gay-ass superhero movies now. Yeah? Because, like, before that, it was, like, The Dark Knight, where Christopher Nolan, like, really had to try to make Batman not gay. Mm-hmm. He was like, yeah. look, I get it. It's this fucking, the premise, like, he, he Batman on a, uh, as a premise is, like, really gay yeah it's like it's a rich guy and he's like all dark and emo and then he's gonna yeah. it's like dude that's yeah sucks. it's me if i didn't have a sense of humor <laughs> <laughs> like, those ones hold up though yes because partially because it's like you know real car chases yeah and it looks good and he yeah. had to try to make but, it like cool like an aquaman they're like summoning some necrons or oh some fuck, shit yeah. underwater <laughs> but they look worse than the like the Black Pearl Pirates and Car- Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, those that look was good. Incredible. Yeah, those, those look like cool. Like twenty years ago, God, those guys look so much better than the Necrons. Well, I think the the Guardians of the Galaxy thing set it up so it's like, yeah, the character is like retarded, but if we do if we don't try and make it kind of kind of gay and ironic, then it'll be funny. Yeah. And people were like, wow, they're actually cool. Guardians of the Galaxy is actually cool and epic. But when you watch the movie, it still feels like somebody tried to make a movie. Yeah. Like they weren't like, oh, well, we're just ironic. Yeah. They just. Like they they leaned into it. It wasn't fully ironic, but they leaned yeah. into it to be like, "Yeah, we get it. This is fucking gay." Yeah, yeah. you know, it's a bunch of it's a bunch of fucking green guys in space. Yeah. We get it. Yeah. But now I think that led to like a bunch of it. That and like Deadpool. Well, oh, yeah, yeah, because they 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 made them all so they have to be like comedies. Yeah. It's like they can't just be yeah. normal. Like the, that's why like, like epic bacon comedies. So. Yeah. Like as it was like long, but I did enjoy like the Batman with. Um, yeah, that one was um, pretty good. What the hell, is Robert, Robert Twilight? Pat? Yeah, yeah, Robert. with Edward. Yeah, um, yeah. I, like it was Rob Twilight. It was good. It had moments that it felt like it was, like the last scene really felt like something right out of like 1996, 2000, like in the graveyard where he's like riding his motorcycle. I was like, this is cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right on. It had like it's it's like it it, it had a really good third act set piece too. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There was a lot of ticking clock moments in it. It built tension. It was a good movie. Yeah, yeah. I they wouldn't tried. call it like as action packed as Nolan's. No, but they tried to make it like not gay. You have to when you're doing a superhero movie, you have to try to make it not gay because the premise is usually gay. It's a guy in his underwear yeah. fighting criminals. Yeah, well, I think <laughs> it's a rich it's autistic like... guy who gets no pussy beating up homeless people. You have to try to make it not. <laughs> I mean, that sounds great. <laughs> that, that literally almost happened last night outside of the Grindstone <laughs> Theater. <laughs> a wealthy autistic man. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I feel like part of the problem too is like they they have to make so many superhero movies that they they got to dig into like the like the D list. Yeah. So it's like like Aquaman just sucks as a character. That's why like, like, I don't think anybody actually likes Aquaman. No, that's why you if you're doing Aquaman, you have to try like twice as hard as like Christopher Nolan tried making I, the Dark Knight to make it even like passably cool. I feel like you probably could. it'd be tough to make an Aquaman movie that wasn't gay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like that's yeah. a tall order. Yeah. <laughs> he would have to. Be. I don't think that we have that person. I think. Yeah. I think a cool it, like if he if he went to like uh, honestly you'd have to do like a weird. You ever see the movie um, Underwater? No. It was cool. It's got Kristen Stewart in it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It, yeah it's yeah. actually sick. It's like she's working on like a really like a deep underwater like mining operation, oh, okay. and then they like accidentally uncover like a Lovecraftian. They like they dig <laughs> yeah. too deep, and then this big like that, that Cthulhu could be thing cool. comes. Something like that has to happen. But I think. it's hard to... to do that one and have Aquaman. Yeah, you know, I just like, like yeah. I can talk to fish. The, yeah, the whole yeah, <laughs> you'd have to make it not Aquaman, basically. Uh, yeah. Also, the whole plot of Aquaman two spoilers. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. for a terrible movie, yeah. is the bad guy found a new fuel, and if he uses it, it erodes the ozone, and he's trying to uh, cause global warming. Wait, was that really? Because I watched the last forty five minutes and didn't catch a hint of that. Oh, because <laughs> so well, that was that shit up early. I all guess. the stuff that powered their like. I don't know, ancient tech was called like Oracorium or whatever, and they're like, oh, well, we had to stop using it. It was so powerful, but it was destroying the atmosphere. So that's their Holy vibranium, shit. their unobtainium? Yeah. Which, so that yes, they that's started... Avatar that has unobtainium? Oh, Avatar God. has unobtainium. Uh, Wakanda has vibranium. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Unobtainium. They should have just called it the MacGuffin. Yeah, unobtainium. <laughs> he, thankfully, he did ditch that for Avatar 2. Yeah, there's no yeah. unobtainium in Avatar 2? No. Th- what is the plot of Avatar 2? They harvest whales because yeah. you can live forever if you get their brains. It's like whale um, 
like adrenochrome, essentially. Cool. Yeah. I feel it like... It is sick. Yeah. The whaling scene in Avatar 2 is great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I watched Dread last night. Oh, so Carl yeah. Urban? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it's dope. Oh, so that's like probably the fourth time I've seen Dread. <laughs> when, yeah, like... Movie kept it's yeah. so yeah. sick. I'm, God s- I'm sad I missed that one in theaters. Me too. It's so fucking. I good. Years later, it's like this rule. That's that's. I, see? I want more judge because Judge Red's legit cool. Yeah, the premise is awesome. See, you guys have like there's a Halo TV show and everybody's pissed because Master Chief took his hat off. Yeah, you and know. that's like the worst thing for your generation. Like when yeah. Sylvester Stallone did Judge Red, Judge Dredd, based off the comics, he never took his helmet off. He took it off constantly in the, the whole Stallone fucking movie. movie. It's off. Yeah. So everybody, like all the fans back then, were. Pissed. Yeah, he had it. I've seen that one too. He's got his. Ma- he barely has the mask on. I know Carl Urban. It was yeah. on the whole guy. It was Carl like, Urban is also the best guy. He plays it so yeah. well. Like Stallone, Stallone should have done the like. Carl Urban is just. He barely talks. Like it's such a an, an yeah. egoless performance. Yeah, he's just like <laughs> you're gay. I mean, I yeah. feel like Judge Dredd taking his mask off is worse than Master Chief. Both are both bad. are bad. I've but, never uh, played Halo. Thank you. Actually, neither <laughs> neither of I. Really, I don't care. So about, I don't give a shit. I actually I had a friend talk to, like rant to me about the Halo show, and I yeah. said I cut him off, and I said, "Hey, I don't care about Halo. <laughs> you <know? laughs> this, this, you just sound gay." But I feel like Judge Dredd is supposed to be like faceless justice, you know? Yeah. Judge, jury, executioner. Yeah. yeah. Like, also, all the like all the uh, Anthrax albums about Judge Dredd. I am the law. Yeah. That music rips. Yeah. There's no Anthrax albums about Halo. And like uh, that, yeah. that, that movie's so good. Like the the drug that slows speed down. Oh such yeah, a good cinematic device. Oh yeah, oh. just fucking like uh, when the dude gets thrown off the top of the skyscraper yeah. in slow mo. Or when, <laughs> when he gets Hans Gruber off. Yeah. When those guys like take it and then he Judge Dredd like kicks the door down and he just starts like letting bullets fly. That <laughs> you can see like it goes through like one of his cheeks and I was like, damn, this rules. Yeah, this is so good. The one I watched the other day that was good was the Beekeeper. I've got it uh, ready to. Watch. It's all loaded up, but I haven't seen it. It was. I, I really enjoyed it. It's Jason Statham, and oh. he like he is a beekeeper. Yes. Um, but then his like el- kindly elderly neighbor uh, gets taken in a telemarketing scam and like instantly kills herself. Yes, <laughs> I heard about that. Harshan <laughs> Gill was telling me that this sucked, and then he talked about no, it. Wrong. Yeah, he talked about this. He's like, I watched the worst movie the other day, and then he told me that scene, and I was like, Why? What? <laughs> that sounds it's, awesome. It's so good because like he, Jason Statham like is a beekeeper who keeps bees. Right. But there's also a super Super secret Jason Bourne style, like super soldier program called the Beekeepers. Nice, but nice. the Beekeeper organization has nothing to do with keeping bees. <laughs> but he just decided that he's also gonna keep bees. Cool. So it's got like just increasingly belabored beekeeping <laughs> metaphors the entire <laughs> for the entire movie. And the big bad is essentially like a Hunter Biden guy. Oh, cool. Who's like nice. the crackhead son of the president <laughs> who's running a telemarketing <laughs> scam. That rules. Wow. And then Jason Statham has to like kick all their asses. Of course. But it's all just like either them being bad. Yeah. Or them being like, we're so fucked of beekeepers after us. And oh, like, yeah. Oh, you guys are a bunch of like Delta Force? To him, you're pussies. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jason Statham will show up. And nine guys will have like guns pointed at him. Yeah. He's unarmed. Yeah. And he'll kill nope. them all with his bare hands. Yes. Yes. It rocked. Oh. It was that, great. That's what we, we talked about that with uh, Gerard Butler. Is like you need, we need more movies that from guys who still think it's 2009. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. was a very Butlerian movie. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we need more movies from guys like because that was like, man, there was some hot shit like District Nine. Like there was there was a good era for action movies in there. Yeah. Like those like late. Late yeah, we didn't, we didn't know how good we had it. No. I watched, um, oh. well, I'll have to finish it tonight, but I watched like the first half hour of uh, Precious. Oh, yeah. Last night. Oh, yeah. It's good. That's the <laughs> flat, <laughs> fat black girl movie? Yeah, it's good. Okay. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> it's good. I'll have to report back later because I didn't finish it. I actually, but I remember. <laughs> that was 2009. I remember talking oh. about Precious with you before you'd seen it, and I, I, <laughs> I remember you being like, I explained what it was, and you were like, would I like it? And I remember being like, Yes. <laughs> so far, I am. Yeah, I was like, you would like it, but not for the reasons they want you to like it. Well, I was looking it up. Apparently, like in in Harlem, the black audiences were like laughing their asses off. Yeah, yeah. But when they went to like the mostly white like um, like film festivals, yeah. they're all like dabbing tears away because <laughs> yeah, yeah. those people thought it was like realistic. Yeah, it's the, the black duality audiences of art. got that it was like cranked so far <laughs> yeah. like, over the top, and it's not like. Like the accurate black experience, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, that's so funny to watch. To watch press, just like have an evening yeah. alone and being, I'm gonna watch press. I'm gonna watch Precious, <laughs> but I'm so not racist that I think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna misinterpret that and go see Black Panther three and laugh the whole time. <laughs> Sweet, yeah. I'm with you guys. This is hilarious. <laughs> being yeah. black isn't like that at all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Asking black guys after yeah. Black Panther, like, so, so, like, where is Wakanda? <laughs> like, can I, I come? Can you? I know you can. Do you got one of those lip tattoos? Where? Like, where is it actually, though? Where is it? Do where? You, is it nice? <laughs> <laughs> like, how often do you visit Wakanda? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn. Do you guys see? I had. Uh, I feel like millennials had a deep, fully shameful week. Oh, what happened? 